Hello everyone, my name is Brandon Tech Tips, and today I'm back with another video about this speaker right here, Azimom EX70 model. It is such a good speaker. It's super durable, has a lot of bass, and LEDs. A lot of them. So there's some of the speakers, some on the outer ring. It's really nice to have. It's a cool effect. Uh, different modes. You can hit the star button right here. Bam. Outer ring. Bam. Off. I prefer it off, but I'm going to keep it on for this video. So, I really like this speaker just because of, you know, you can put this thing anywhere. It's not too heavy, doesn't rattle no matter how much bass you throw at it. You know, if you want to blow out your eardrums with the bass, you know, do it with this thing. It's really good. My dog is snoring in the background. She needs it. Um, so, I'm going to be sound testing it with uh, On and On from Cartoon. It's um, an NCS song. I don't have rights to it. So, just so you guys know, I, I don't own this song. Okay, I'm just gonna use it for testing. That's gonna be in a minute. So this lasts forever. Like I cannot break this thing. I've dropped it a, like five times. <laughs> so, and I was on tile, like ceramic tile once and it didn't break. It's not a quitter. I believe it has a dual battery. Um, 2200 milliamp battery, milliamp hour battery. Sorry, I'm really bad at it. My goodness. Um, Output's 14 watts. It's super loud. It's really nice to have in the house. Now I can blast music and annoy my neighbors if I wanted to. So, ah, <laughs> sounds great. Um, really nice unit. Like, it's super durable. Like, you can't, there's nothing rattling in there. It's really, really well built. It's 50 bucks when I bought it in December 2019. It's March of 2020. It's time to test this thing. I've loved this thing. Personally, I use it all the time. Um, it's waterproof, so if you drop it in a pool by accident, then you're good, maybe. I don't know how waterproof it is, but um, it sounds really nice to have. Like, if you it starts raining out of nowhere, you forget it. Hopefully, it's fine. I'm sure it would be. It has really nice waterproofing. I've watched a video of someone taking this thing apart. Really, really well built inside. Uh, super like there's a lot of glue in there holding everything in place everything is just super well built for what you're paying and honestly like the buttons feel super nice like they're not super plasticky feeling it's kind of like fabric almost feeling when you're pressing the button it's like pressing on fabric almost and then the button underneath it's really really good honestly i recommend it to anyone that needs a bluetooth speaker like this for just outdoor use you know this is not like you don't put it on a shelf and leave it there forever. This is meant to go everywhere. Like, it has a strap. Obviously, it's meant to go places, right? I don't think that's how it works, but, you know. Okay, let's get to sound testing. Hopefully, my microphone will pick this up really well for you guys. And, as always, hope you guys enjoy. So as you can see, really, really good sound quality for what you're paying. Honestly, though, a lot of bass. Like, not overly done bass, but it is a lot. It's not, like, overly done at all. It's just, it's just like, a good amount. It has a lot of high range, too. Mid range sounds really decent, you know. It's not the best of the best, but it is a bang for your buck. Now, this speaker is, I think, right now on Amazon. I'm not sure with all the price changes from imported stuff from China, um, like this one is. Um, I'm not sure how much it costs now, but it's 50 bucks when I got it. It's a really good deal. Honestly, I'd go for it if you're looking for one of these things. Um, you know, that's it for this video. 
If you liked, leave a like. If you dislike, well, I don't blame you. My videos are, like, not great. <laughs> well, depends on how you look at it. I mean, I don't, this one isn't edited, so. <laughs> so, um, whole PC situation, just a quick end of the video. I'm just going to explain it to you. My hard drive is dead. I'm going to have to work on getting all that together. I'm getting an SSD soon-ish. Um, I believe, like, five, six weeks. I should be getting an SSD, and, you know, I'm I'm pretty hyped for the SSD. That is going to be a video for you. Uh, I hope that my brother will let me just film the entire process of switching um, hard drive to SSD. There is some differences that I'm going to explain in a later video upcoming. I'm going to go more in depth in what happened to my computer. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.